Hi, my name is Mr. Hazel, and today we are going to use a micro bit to make a melody of our very own. So, for this, you will need a micro bit, you will need a USB cable, you will need a battery pack, and finally, you'll need two wires with alligator clips at the end and a pair of headphones. All right, let's get started. The first step is to plug your micro bit into your computer using the USB cord. If you don't know how to do this, check out the intro video again and it might give you a reminder on the steps. Next, you're going to go to makecode.microbit.org in the browser of your choice and click on new project. I'm going to name mine micro bit melody. Now, if I'm going too fast at any point, remember that you can always pause the video until you've caught up. Once our programming portal is open, I'm taking a look at this programming area here and I don't think we're going to need our start or forever coding blocks. Instead, I'm going to use an input like we have several times before and I'm simply going to choose the on button A pressed just to make it simple. We're going to continue doing music so we're going to go to the music category of the coding blocks and I'm going to select the same one we used last time which is play melody and drop it into that same spot. The difference with today's task is that we are going to instead of using the gallery to pick some of the preset musical melodies we are going to make our own so we're going to stay in the editor side now a few things i should mention before moving on you will notice that the simulator has changed once again to show us how to wire up the headphones for when we actually want to hear the melody that we've created on our micro bit. The other thing is that this editor looks an awful lot like the LED light board that we used before. Now the LED, uh, the LED code block, that was in basic. I'll just pull it up so that we can see them kind of side by side. They both use a grid of squares and once you interact with those squares, that changes what the program uh, does when that bit of code is activated. So for the show LEDs, what it would do is when different squares were activated, that meant that those different squares would light up when that part of the code was activated. Now, in the Melody Editor, when those different squares are clicked or activated, what it does is it plays a tone. So when this particular um, square is activated, it plays that tone there. And each of these squares has a different tone ranging from high to low and everything in between. Now they also have different colors just to help make it clear which tone is which and that you're going up or down if you're several um, blocks away. So right here, this one is sort of a teal color. If I had another block over here that was also teal, but they weren't color coded, it might be kind of tricky to know if they were the same exact note without counting my grid up and down, which can take a long time. Hmm, this is a part that's kind of interesting. Now, I'm thinking I would like to play a melody that I've heard quite often in a school building. Yeah, I think that's where I want to start. Hmm, it's not quite what I'm going for. Ah, that's what I want. Okay. So now that I have my first four notes, I sort of want to hear what it sounds like together. So I'm going to come over here to the simulator and I'm going to hit the A button or um, give the micro bit the input that it needs to know that this part of the code is what I want it to 
activate. Let's see what happens. Aha! Perfect! So, I have the start of my melody. Now, if I want to continue it, I can... I'm out of blocks. So what should I do? I think you might already know the answer. But what I'm going to do is add another one of these play melody code blocks. Now I can do that one of two ways. I can either come to the music menu and select play melody again, or I can right click on this play melody and select duplicate. Now, if I select Duplicate, it's going to have exactly the same notes that I've already selected. Let's see how that sounds. It sounds okay, but I have to be honest, looping it before it gets to the end of that kind of melodic hook sort of makes my brain melt a little bit. So, let's come back in to our editor and whoop, I accidentally switch it over to gallery and let's do our next note so it was oh and this is a really good tip too I forgot about this to mention this down here you can hit the play button and it will play just and it will play just the block that you have already open in the editor So at this point, I think I'm actually going to erase the rest of the notes because I just sort of want to leave it at that hook. I'm going to select Done. Now, with my micro bit hooked up to the computer, I'm going to click these ellipses, download to micro bit, and then make sure that it's being saved on the micro bit drive in the folder here. So on this computer it's D drive, but it would depend on what uh, USB port your micro bit is plugged into. Select Save, and then once again that flashing orange LED light means that it's being, the program is being put onto the micro bit, and once the uh, flashing stops and the solid orange LED light stays solid, uh, that's when you know that it is all the way on your micro bit and you can take it off of the computer. So now the program is on the micro bit, but to actually experience the melody that I've created, I am going to need to plug in my battery pack. So once again, the ridge on the battery pack and the groove on the micro bit need to line up so that there is no damage to the micro bit or the battery pack. Next, we can take a look at our um, simulator to see that we need to hook up one of our wires to the pin marked zero. And we need to hook up one of our wires with an alligator clip to the pin marked ground or GND. Now what we're doing here is we're creating a circuit where the power comes from the one pin, goes through our speakers, and exits back through the ground. This circuit whoop, is what allows the music to be played on the headphones. So the wire that's attached to zero, just like over here on our um, simulator, is going to be attached to the end of our headphones. And the other wire, the one that's attached to the ground, is going to be hooked up to the middle of our speakers. Now, this is very important. There's no volume control on our program right now. That means that your headphones are going to be blasting the music as loud as it possibly can. Do not put it into your ears. It's a harsh sounding MIDI noise that will hurt your eardrums. So you're going to hold the speakers away from your ears, but it is quiet enough that you can be somewhat close. 
and we're going to try hitting the A button, which is the input we've selected that will trigger all of this coding that we put into place. Let's give it a shot. It's working. So right now, this melody that we've created on our coding, in our coding blocks, has been put onto our micro bit. And when I select A, I can hear it. So now it's your turn. You can make whatever melody you would like. Try and think of something that you know well because it's easier to select those notes. Not all notes are available in this editor, so don't be discouraged if you can't make your melody sound exactly like you know it goes. If it's really bothering you, just discard that melody and try something different. Don't let it discourage you. Keep playing around with it and have fun.